A small Wisconsin town came together tonight to salute a fallen Marine. A Sergeant Carson Holmquist grew up in Grantsburg. He survived a tour in Afghanistan only to be killed during the rampage at a military training center in Tennessee yesterday. At his high school tonight, Sergeant Holmquist relatives and former classmates met to mourn the 25-year-old husband and father. In a statement, his family said he was an avid fisherman and hunter who loved farming. As WCCO's Jennifer Merrily reports, Holmquist's relatives also want people to know he was a hometown kid who never dreamed of doing anything but serving his country. The community stood solemnly, silently, side by side in their sorrow. The overwhelming loss of a young Marine palpable. We are all diminished for the loss of this fine young man. The community enveloped Sergeant Carson Holmquist's dad, Tom, and stepmom, Sue, as they arrived. No words were needed to show the deep pain felt by his family. Small community people are going to pull together and support the family. But specifically, the Marine family is tightly knit. This group lit candles to honor a Marine family described as a hometown kid, a man who liked to hunt and fish and enjoyed working on cars with his dad, a man who never hesitated in serving his country. Grantsburg High School principal Josh Watt remembers when Holmquist enlisted. One of the greatest moments, I would say, just something that I remember that I'll, that I'll never forget, especially now. Uh, I remember when Carson came back from boot camp and he walked into the building here and he was dressed in his blues and uh, was so proud of, of his accomplishments in becoming a Marine. And, you know, it's something I'll always remember. He was remembered for his unwavering service and his sacrifice. I feel like I lost a brother. Us Marines are all brothers in all times, except for five. And as the community embraced Holmquist's family, they realized this family, this town, is forever changed. I thank you for the young man. I thank you for his life. It means we won't forget what he, what he did for us, what he, meant, what he means to us, what he meant to us. Rest in peace. Semper Fi. Tonight, the flag here at the school is at half staff. Holmquist's family tells me his body will come home for burial, but that won't be able to happen until the investigation is complete. His wife Jasmine and two-year-old son Wyatt must also stay in Chattanooga until that time. Jennifer, thank you. The fellow Marines who died with Sergeant Holmquist were Gunnery Sergeant Thomas Sullivan from Massachusetts, Lance Corporal Skip Wells from Georgia, and Staff Sergeant David Wyatt from North Carolina. The man who killed them seemed to have a typical suburban life before yesterday's rampage. 24-year-old Mohammed Youssef Abdulaziz wrestled in high school. He earned an electrical engineering degree three years ago. Today we learned Abdulaziz also spent seven months in Jordan last year. Investigators want to know who he met with and if anyone tried to radicalize him. While this ambush is being investigated as a possible act of terrorism, the FBI has found no links to ISIS or any other group. Abdulaziz died when a police officer took him out. And today the FBI said that he had at least two long guns and a handgun on him, and he was wearing a vest with enough ammunition to reload. His computers and cell phones are being analyzed at an FBI lab now. Stay with WCCO4 News for continuing coverage of the Chattanooga shootings.